morning. Where news comes first. You're watching ABC 7 Extra. Now, here's your host, Darren Every Hunt. While, it's nice to get a fresh perspective, right? Leave it to Newspaper Tree to give a guy from Britain who grew up watching the always entertaining British Parliament while obtaining a master's from King's College in London the opportunity to cover the 81st legisl legislative session. A few days ago, I sat down with Ben Wright to get his impression of the job done by the El Paso delegation in Austin. Every uh, session, Texas Monthly bring out a list of the 10 best and the 10 worst legislators from the session. Now, there wasn't an El Paso member on either the 10 best or 10 worst. However, uh, Representative Norma Chavez got a uh, what's called a dishonorable mention, which is sort of like a subsidiary list to the 10 worst. And um, Representative Chente Quintanilla um, got labeled as furniture, meaning doesn't do much around the house. What was interesting about the Texas Monthly article is just how little El Paso figures in the in the grand scheme of things of a Texas and how that sort of plays out on the on the statewide level in Austin as well. We're more disadvantaged in a lot of areas and that's really key to understanding how um, El Paso favors in, in Austin politics. There is a rule, um, an unwritten rule in the Texas House, which is that freshmen are, are, are to be seen and not heard. Uh, that was not true with either um, Representative Marquez or Representative Moody. Giving individual grades, I think, would be rather um, arbitrary, but I, I will say this, that there would be a, grave, a grading curve, and the grading curve would put everyone's grade up. And, and the reason is that in this session, not much got done in general. Biggest failures, um, the most uh, obvious failures are things like that, that Speaking Rock Casino won't reopen. Now, that would have had a big economic impact on El Paso. Another example would be uh, funding of the third building for the uh, El Paso Medical School. Um, that didn't, they, that, that, that money wasn't secured. But then, of course, what's the context? The context is that no one got money for a similar project across the state. Accomplishments. It, we really have to see how these things pan out. For, for, for example, the building codes bill, uh, the ethics bill, um, those are, are big pieces of legislation, but we really don't know how they're going to work yet. And it'll be interesting to see how in the next few years they do. The public debate between Marissa and uh, Norma, how did you see all that? That got pretty nasty. Um, it did. I think we all know the personal history and that the, 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 they are just people that don't get on. Is that counterproductive to what we're trying to do here? It's counterproductive to El Paso's image in the state. Um, the, the surprising thing about the delegation is that they got some things done. Um, they had, especially when you consider no one got much done in this session in general, they had quite a good session. That's not the image that they bring back from Austin and it's not the image they portray in Austin. They um, they, they have a collective image of squabbling. That's not everyone's fault, um, but, but, but it is uh, something everyone in the delegation has to deal with. And open your eyes and just take it all in. And here's a guy who's first time <laughs> around too, uh, but British, you know, you basically grew up watching the British Parliament and, and that, all those theatrics and everything else. Then you go to Austin. What's the difference between the two? Very similar? Or? Um, I, th I think you get a, bit, a few more theatrics in the British Parliament sort of <laughs> on a rhetorical basis. There, there, there's a lot of fun that happens on the Texas floor. I think it's a bit more subdued in the Senate than on the, the Texas House side, but, but a lot of fun. W I would say one of the big differences I've noticed um, covering some of the ethics scandals that have been going on in England over the past six months is that there does seem to be in Texas um, a real sense that politicians matter, that individuals matter. Individuals can make decisions that are for good and for bad of their communities and, and their state. And, and that doesn't seem to be um, as prevalent an idea in, in Britain, we, where parties seem to uh, be more collective, uh, individuals seem to be far more grafted into bureaucracy and, and um, sound bites than here. People are a lot more off the cuff here. Uh, I thought the access at the Texas House was, was um, very impressive. Politicians are always up for being talking, usually, unless they're in trouble. And, um, and, and or I, 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 I really got a sense of how human uh, politicians are, and uh, yeah, and I had a blast. Representative Moody, I appreciate it, you being here as well. Thank you for your analysis as well, Ben. I appreciate that. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Thank you to all of our guests, and thank you as well. I'm Darren Hunt, and this has been ABC Seven Extra. ABC Seven Extra Sunday at ten thirty-five, only on ABC Seven.